fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Minnesota Vikings and the Seattle Seahawks. This will be fielded inside the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. At their own 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. First carry now for Dalvin Cook, and he'll be tackled at about the 35. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage, second down. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want, but on the defensive side of the ball, you're scrambling a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? On second down, Cook. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 15 yards on the play, first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. Following the good run by Cook, here's another first and 10. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. Pressure comes, he's taken down by the Seahawks defense. A loss of eight yards. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front, nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. Complete a good pick up there, 13 Jefferson. yards as they get closer for third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. Mayfield from the gun on third down. And that will be incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Now this is fielded in the end zone, and he's going to be tackled inside his 10-yard line. And they hear a few words from his head coach on that decision. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems he? like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use bare on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. On first down, Wilson. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. First and 10 at the 26-yard line. On first and ten, it's Wilson. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. 16 yards, a first down. Maybe the threat of Russell Wilson running the football there and him handing it off opened a little bit of a lane. It does, and what also helps, his unselfishness. Because he's not a quarterback who's going to take it every time and pull it from the running back and keep it. 
He will hand it inside when the reads are correct. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. He was brought down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. K.J. Hamler, the intended receiver, and it's third down. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Play action. It's Wilson. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. With touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Seahawks have taken a first quarter lead. And we'll see if this rain affects the team's decisions going forward. But they kick it here, and it's good. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taking it about the one. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. At their own 26-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Second down, it's Cook, and he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Call it an eight-yard pickup, and it'll be third down. Oh, they got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third manageable with that run. On third down, Mayfield. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they're going to have to give up the football again after this one. He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. At their own 22-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the ball. We'll see if they can disrupt it here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. At the 33 yard line. From the gun, it's Wilson. And incomplete on the deep ball. Intended for number 27. Incomplete. It's second and 10 from the 33 yard line. I got you. I got you. the mic. the mic. Here we go. Here we go. To throw again, Wilson. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Brings up third down and 10. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Hey, hey, hey. Like 22, he's coming, 22. Zebra, zebra. 
On third down, Wilson. And he's finally taken down, and it's a big game there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. Second quarter now from Seattle, and it is the Seahawks with the football here as they've got it with a first and ten. Wilson will throw again. That is into the hands of Padman. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Wilson going to fake the give and keep it himself. And he's going to be stopped just short of the first down marker at the Vikings 25. Well, they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot. He picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. They run again on first down. Chubb. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. That was well coached and even better executed because you saw him looking for the cutback lane, never materialized, and had excellent pursuit to stack that play up. And they'll be in search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Chubb, and he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. It'll be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. A first carry now for Kofrani Muhammad, and he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. A great play there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. Footing always a concern, but the extra points up and good. And that'll make the score from the six. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. First and 10 at their own 29-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic, meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe you hit them on those short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn. And the Seahawk defense gets to him, and they bring him down. A loss of six yards. And it's third down. Third and long for Mayfield. Open here, Adam Thielen. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That was no third and two. That was third and 16. But they get the conversion anyway. First down, Vikings. On first and ten, Mayfield complete Jefferson the target and taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Eleven more yards that go around, a first down as well. Now a run with Cook. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And now off 
to the races down the right side. Touchdown, Vikings. Minnesota. Delvin Cook hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Vikings have made this now a one-score game. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll make our score 14-7. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. Taken in the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. At their own 18-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? We said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well. And he's been right. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's miles away and smiling. And happy. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Now they'll run it on the toss. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. The line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. He's going to launch this thing way downfield, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 20, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, this was a 14-0 game not too long ago. Things were looking pretty good. Then you give up the touchdown on the last drive, now the interception. So that's a lesson in trying to stay vigilant, isn't it? You have to stay on top of things. Can't relax too much, because as you noted, things change. Now they've got to go out there and get a spark going again and try and slow down this comeback. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Dalvin Cook is running back, the intended target, and it's third down. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. And yeah, that is incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And that kick will go out of bounds right at the 20-yard line. First and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now the Seahawks are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. 14, 14. 22, he's coming, 22, he's coming. From the shotgun, Wilson. He's going to rifle one deep left side. It's caught inside the 25. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Throwing is Wilson. That is caught inside the five. 
And the Seahawks are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. one in for the Seattle Tour in the final seconds of the first half and the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead and he's able to put it through Max the score Seahawks 21 Viking 7 So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. This one fielded at the five. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. At their own 32-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. It's now second and 10. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. Fielded in the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. At their own 20-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They built a good first half lead, now they have a chance to add on to it. What I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spend the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. The second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Wilson. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. And with the play clock at three, we'll get a signal and a timeout on the whistle. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter.
Now they try the right side here. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. I'm going back to you. On second and nine, Wilson, open man, Hamler, that's complete. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Just his second catch of the game so far, this one moves the chains. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. It's a gain of 35. This has been a good drive so far. It's been the running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now Taylor. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. They go with Chubb on second down. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's found the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there, but of course you're going to give it to him. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. At the three-yard line. Second down and three with right around three minutes remaining in the third quarter. Three's all around. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you are two. You're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. Turn to the power game to try to get in. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. That's a nice example of good team defense right there. Ball was snapped at the one-yard line. They knocked him back and caused a loss. But you notice they were trying to find any type of a gap to run through. Wasn't one available, and they stuffed the play right there in the middle of the field. They'll give it to Chubb, and he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. What a stand so far defensively, and now that's going to bring up a fourth and goal. Fourth and goal. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. A 19-yard attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they will open things up a bit more. It's 24 to 7. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway. They get to go out there and do their part. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And 10 at their own 26-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, 
That is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. On the carry, it's Cook. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. First down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Cook. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. He's brought down at the 42-yard line. A gain of five brings up second and five. We're off to the fourth quarter here in week 15. Happy holidays to all. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and five now. Mayfield. That'll be complete to Cook. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with the football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. First down throw for Mayfield. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. And that'll be in. Could try to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch take the hit and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. He gets this one into the hands of Dalvin Cook. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line well short of the first down marker. It'll be a gain of 12, but it will also lead to fourth down. Now Mayfield on fourth down. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. They'll run with Cook, and he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. On the carry. Dalvin Cook. Minnesota. With touchdown number two in the game and now 11 on the year. And the Vikings are able to cut into that deficit. The kicker on. Now the try here for the extra point. Oh, how about this? No good. Just his second miss of the year. And our score will stay right where it is. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Seahawks, looks like they've recovered. They have. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. That catch good for only a couple. At the 42-yard line. Throwing again on second down. Wilson. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Picked by Jeff Gladney. They find some open field here. 20, and he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, don't change that channel just yet. This one may have gotten a bit more interesting. Put down the remote, put down the clicker. This one looked like it was over. It looked like they were ready to seal the deal. But in doing so, by pitching it around a little bit, it cost them. We could have a great finish. Let's go, D. Big right here. We got to step it up. Point it right, point it right, point it right. 
Cook. They'll try and run it. They'll try and run it here. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Vikings 19. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Taken in the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Charles, you said the magic number was probably right around 20 for this defense because they're facing one of the top five offenses in the league in terms of points scored. They've had their moments, but this offense, just a little too good, isn't it? They really are because no matter what you do to make an adjustment on defense, they've had an answer for it. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll try and wind down some clock with Chubb. Able to avoid him at the 40. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a gain of 15, first down Seahawks. And now the Vikings are going to stop it here on defense with a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Now a handoff looking right. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. is not going to go anywhere. They're going to get to him behind the line, and that is going to get us to the two-minute warning. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. This time, Wilson will throw. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. 60 catches for him now on the year. This last one, a first down. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more players around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Off the option, he'll try and run with it. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Well, sometimes that option can get bogged down before the gears really even get into motion, and I think that's what we saw there. And I think what he saw, he saw defensive end right in his face because he looked up and he was right there. Didn't even have a chance to get going. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? 
to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Back to the ground, this time it's Chubb. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. And that touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, you still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you got to feel good about your chances. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Take it in at the three. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They have a little bit of time left here, but this one not going to go their way. And this is where, in this situation for me, you just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congratulations, and move on. Because now, <laughs> you're not going to make up for what's happened during the game in this last sequence. We'll see what they do here in this last sequence. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Mayfield pass intercepted. The Seahawks take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. After the interception, here's Wilson escaping the pressure right. This is Hamler on the receiving end. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 